Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at power carving a carved face birdhouse. Now this is the second birdhouse that I've made like this. We're not going to concentrate too much on the box itself. Uh, it's basically a rectangular box. Um, but note that I did put two uh, layers of material on the, on the floor and also on the front face. I also attached one by twos uh, around the frame of the box and to the back of the face so that the face just slides right into place and is kind of held in position by those one by twos. I do have a cut list here of uh, the exact sizes that I used. You have to glue uh, two pieces for the face together and two pieces for the bottom together. So I'm going to start just by tracing out a rough face. Um, I am by no means an artist. Um, so I've, you know, I've got eyebrows, a nose, uh, a round hole for the mouth. Um, and once that's done, I'm going to start actually on the box. On the box, I just want to round over the bottom of the box. This is the reason for the two layers. It gives me a little bit more material to work with. And I'm also going to kind of concave uh, both sides, kind of give it the impression of a face. I'm just using an angle grinder or a disc grinder. It's a four and a half inch flap sanding wheel, uh, 36 grit. Uh, so it, it will remove quite a bit of material very quickly. Uh, you can uh, press a little bit harder and, and remove a ton of material, or you can be pretty delicate with it and remove just a little bit. What I'm doing here is just going to be removing um, kind of the background, anything that's not going to be protruding off of the face. And because I've got two layers on the face, I can make that uh, all of those cuts a little bit deeper. So I can really make uh, the nose and the mustache really pronounced. It also gives me the, the ability to round the face over on the sides. So I'll, I'll do that as I'm going. Um, I'm not very experienced with this, so I take my time. I did use a inch and a quarter speed board just to drill out the hole, the entrance hole into the birdhouse. And then with that uh, angle grinder, I'm just going to carefully outline you know, each of the pieces that I want to stand out from the background to have relief. I mean, the majority of this project is done with the angle grinder. I am going to use a, um, a Dremel tool in a little bit just to do the eye sockets and to add some additional detail to the mustache and, and the beard. Uh, but other than that, it's an angle grinder, uh, you know, a drill and a drill bit, and the Dremel. So here I'm just carving out both sides of the nose, make the, the nose stand out a little bit. And I'm going to curve the mustache uh, in to the base of the nose and also outline the nose at the same time. Uh, now I'm going to add some texture to the beard. Uh, so I am, you know, pressing, you know, pretty firmly uh, into the material, and I'm creating these grooves. This is pine; it cuts pretty easily. So I'm adding some nice deep texture marks for the beard. Also work the profile of the beard, give it a ragged edge. And then for the mustache, I'm going to be a little bit more gentle. I'm just going to add uh, some, you know, not quite as deep lines. Uh, my intentions are to go back uh, to add some hairlines to the mustache with the Dremel tool and a little cutoff wheel. I'm using an oscillating sander, but you could do this just by hand sanding, just to smooth out some of the rough edges, smooth out uh, the flat portions of the face, the, you know, the cheeks and the I'm going to use a Dremel tool now uh, to do the eye sockets. Just creating a cavity. And then I'm going to use a 3 8 drill just to drill partially through the wood uh, to give the illusion of the eyeballs. 
Now this face is going to be able to be removed from the, mer the bird house so that you can clean it out each season. It's just going to be held in place by a single screw up through the bottom of the box into that uh, one by two. So this is the Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. I'm just doing the hairlines on the mustache. I'll also add some hairlines uh, to the eyebrows as well as to the beard. And you can see the face is really starting to take, take shape now. So the main difference between this one and, and the first one that I did, um, I have the double thickness of wood for the face and the, and the bottom, which allows me to really curve that face in and add uh, some more relief. Um, also curve the bottom of the box. And uh, when I go to stainless, the first box that I did, I stained in two different colors. I used a real dark stain on the roof uh, as well as on the beard and mustache, and I, I decided not to do that this time. So for the roof itself, um, I just cut some horizontal lines and then I kind of merged them together with that uh, angle grinder, creating the illusion of shingles. And then I'll do some vertical lines. Also, just to enhance that illusion of shingles. It's really just adding a little bit of detail uh, to the roof, make it not so plain. And once you get the hang of it, uh, this, this angle grinder, you know, is really a, a pretty cool uh, tool for, you know, removing material, but also, you know, for just carving kind of delicately. But it does take, a, you know, a little bit of practice. I'm going to add some character to the whole profile of the roof. more deeper grooves to the bottom. And that, that one side of the roof uh, really didn't take all that long, you know, a couple of minutes. And I'll just duplicate the exact same thing on the other side. Now, I am going to add some darkness. I just do that with the torch. I'm going to burn uh, the mustache, the eyebrows, as well as the beard. Uh, any of the flame that, that you know, burns the cheeks or, or the face, I can just go back and sand that off and get it light again. I'm more concerned about getting the, uh, the darkness that I'm looking for. I'm also going to burn the roof. So now, uh, theoretically, I can use a, a single color stain, but my roof and my eyebrows and my mustache and beard will all be or end up being a little bit darker uh, than the face. I also, for the eyeballs, I use the black magic marker and just darken those on the inside. So I just did a single coat of stain. Um, you know, I let it sit on there for a couple minutes, wiped it off, and then once it was dry, I did give it a couple of coats of a clear spray lacquer. The whole inside of the box is left uh, natural so that you know none of the none of the fumes would affect the birds and this is the finished product you know a slightly uh, you know more detailed uh, carving than my first attempt at it but a nice carved face and i think they also call them a spirit birdhouse I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it if you took a minute and left a comment in the comment section. I'd like to give you an invite to check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. You'll find a whole assortment of do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much.